first, only on Fox 47 News at 10. Well, Laura, some chilly temperatures tonight. And I mean, chilly is an understatement. It's going to be really cold. <laughs> um, but there might be some relief down the road for us. Yeah, long down the road. Yeah. But not that far away, really, in terms of what this winter has been like. It's nice to know that in just a couple of days, we mm -hmm. could be approaching 30 degrees. And then All even right. farther, we've got a shot at breaking freezing. It'll be so nice. And let's take a look at those temperatures right now. They're not so nice. At least we're not dealing with snow in combination of these temperatures. 9 degrees currently in Lansing, 10 in a lot of different cities, 10 in Jackson, Marshall, and 10 in Hillsdale as well. 7 in Adrian, where the clouds are starting to break apart. Here's a look at the wind chill. These have thankfully gone down since this afternoon. Uh, we're seeing winds about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Later on this evening, they'll be dying down to about 5, even less than that at times. And tomorrow, the wind is not going to be a factor either. So even though you see wind chills that are in the negatives for this evening, these will start becoming closer to the temperature. Now, of course, temperature is still going to go down. So expect the wind chills to be right around zero, if not just just below. Tomorrow they will not be quite as much of a problem. Here's a look at the 48 hour future track. We're going to see those temperatures dip down right to around zero. This model keeps things just a little warmer, but look at this. 7 o'clock on Tuesday morning, 4 degrees in Lansing, 5 in Jackson. If we see clouds break apart even earlier than that, we'll be right down to about zero. Some of us will be sub zero at this time tomorrow. So expect a cold morning. And then by the time we get to the afternoon, things picking up to the mid teens. And then look at this. Wednesday morning, we're we're right back to those single digits. We'll see temperatures again right around zero and then things start going back up. We'll see Wednesday into the 20s and then the next few days through the rest of the week will be in the 20s as well. We even have a day that's very close to Thursday or excuse me to 30 and that is Thursday 27 degrees. We could see that hike up just a little bit more Friday and Saturday do look cooler. We've got a cold front coming through, but by the time we get to this point next week, Monday, we should have a shot at about 32 degrees or above. Here's a look at satellite radar. We're just dealing with a little cloud, even a couple isolated snow snow showers. Not much to talk about for us. Look at this though, sweeping all across the south. They've got another another shot at some winter weather. They're going to be dealing with that in the next couple days. Not true for us though. High pressure for us for today and for tomorrow. We'll see sunshine tomorrow. Look at that. Clouds are really uh, disappearing by tomorrow morning and then through the evening. This is why it's going to be so cold. We're going to have little cloud cover tomorrow night. We won't see any moving in until Wednesday morning. We'll still keep just a little sunshine around Wednesday. But look at this. We've got snow that's forming up. That band, if it holds together, we could see a little snow on Wednesday. But it doesn't look like it's going to hold up very well. Not a lot of moisture associated with that. This front, though, will bring some cooler temperatures when it does come across when we get to Thursday into Friday. So we will see slightly cooler temperatures to start off the weekend, but by the time we get to the end of the weekend, slightly warmer. Negative 2 for tonight, mostly cloudy but dry, and tomorrow we'll see a dry day as well. Mostly sunny skies and 15 degrees for the high. Joshua is all bundled up. Of course you have to be in temperatures like these. You know the drill by now. Stay bundled up until we get through some of these 20s and then get closer to the 30s, which will be toward the end of this week into next week. And taking a look at this this first week, there really isn't a lot of snow on the map. We could have that slight chance for some snow showers on Wednesday night to Thursday. It doesn't look very likely, though. The best chance coming Friday. So you've got three more days, Anthony, of <laughs> smooth sailing on those roads. You don't have to worry about a lot. Just have to get through the cold. It's not so bad. All right. And thinking about that story that we aired a little bit ago, talking about the salt shortage, this could be a little bit of relief for oh, them as well. This will be so nice for them. And really, the snow that we do have coming, Saturday is a good shot for accumulation. But other than that, it doesn't look like we're getting a lot of large numbers coming in in terms of snowfall. Looking forward to seeing maybe those warmer temps above freezing. That would be pretty yes, nice, I'd I say. I cannot wait. <laughs> okay, thanks, Laura.